I get asked all the time, Helen, how do I achieve life balance? And I've broken it down into a couple of steps. So what you want to do is you want to grab a cup of tea, find a quiet corner, tell the kids not to disturb you because you will want to watch this. So let's start off with the big question, is life balance possible? Uh, it is, it totally and utterly is. But here's the thing, life balance takes work, time, boundaries, permission, and so much more. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down in this video some of the things you can start thinking about to help you work towards life balance. Because my guess is what you imagine life balance to be at this moment in maybe three months, six months, a year's time, life balance may look a little bit different then. And that's the thing. Life balance firstly is different for everyone. If you asked your mum or your best friend or your child, what does life balance look like to you? Their description is gonna be different to your definition. And your definition is really the only one that matters in this conversation, because this is life balance for you, not for them. So we're gonna break down a little bit about what life balance looks like for you, what the steps are to get there, and how you can start today creating the balance you crave. Now, if we haven't met before, my name is Helen Hopkins. I'm the Balance Coach, and I help modern women just like you create balance, energy, and joy so they can be fully present for the people and things that they love. Now, so often we get swept away in life. We get swept up with all of the actions and the career changes and the house moves and the stress and the overwhelm. And very rarely do we check in with ourselves about, does this feel good at this moment? Does this feel how I want my life to feel? Am I in a place that brings me joy and happiness? And I, do I feel content here? And when we don't ask those questions, we tend to kind of just drift along in a fog. And we'll look back, we'll blink, we'll look back and it'll be five years gone and you won't have achieved some of the things that you really want to achieve, which is why it's really, really super important to be really present when you are making big decisions and even when you're making small decisions, because all of those small daily habits build up and they will get you where you want to go. So let's start with how you want your life to look and feel. Um, and what's more important here, here really is the feel bit. You know, often we think about how we want our life to look like. And we might think about the house we want, the car we want, the holidays, the clothes. But what's really important and what is really, really underestimated is actually how we feel, how we show up in the day, how we make others feel, our internal dialogue. So I'd love it if you could take a couple of minutes to think, okay, so what do I want my life to look and feel like? Let me give you an example. I'm going to use me. So obviously I'm fairly balanced, but I am a work in progress and I totally see myself as a work in progress. And I think none of us really ever get to the final destination because the final destination keeps changing just like we do. So for me, life balance looks like doing a job I love, which I absolutely do, showing up for my family and friends, having freedom in my business, having the money um, I need to live the life I want, but also about having a real inner peace, an inner feeling of zen and happiness that enables me to do those things, that enables me to be the most authentic version of myself. How do you really make people feel? How do you articulate yourself? What? How do you, you know, hold the room how do you make others look at you and listen to you as the expert you are and I want you to really consider that because what it's important is that we need to know where we're going to be able to get there when we point ourselves in the wrong direction at the wrong goals at the wrong aspirations and the wrong hopes or the, the not the correct ones not the ones where you really want to be that is when life gets swept away and we look back and we're not where we wanna be. And it's a real shame that we don't spend more time doing this in everyday life. Is this a good decision? Does it feel right now? Does it feel right for the future? Now, as part of that, step number two is all about really understanding what is really, really important to you. What is your priority? Obviously yourself is an important priority, but who and what are really, really important to you and how does that fit into your bigger plan? So your priority, I would hope, would be with you and how you feel, but also about where you spend the majority of your time. That could be um, with your family, that could be doing a hobby, that could be in your career or building your business. 
Wherever it is, it's really important that we see that in the bigger plan. Where do you want to spend a large percentage of your time and energy? Where is really important for you? So if I use myself as an example, my business is really, really important. I love my business. I love coaching. I love helping women just like you create a life that they love. But first and foremost, I will always be a mum. Like that was always the job I was destined to do. And as we know, it's one of those unsung jobs where we tend to do an awful lot. And I know it's really, really hard as a job, but it is the one that I, if I could only pick one, that's the one that I would do. And so I guess the question here is, if you could only pick one thing, like where is your real priority? And, and I say this with love and not to make you feel uncomfortable, but I guess how much time currently are you spending on that thing or with those people? How much time and energy are you dedicating to the one thing that feels the most important thing to you at this moment? Because my guess is it might not be very much, which may be why you aren't having or aren't experiencing balance in your life, why there is, why you feel out of alignment. Um, and so I want you to really dig a little bit deeper on this. What's your priority? How do you want to show up for that area of your life? And why is it important? Because what's really important is you might say, well, I want to build my business, but what does your business give you that you don't currently have? Well, probably financial freedom, maybe um, purpose, maybe a community, something, you know, whatever it looks like for you, that's fine. But I want you to really, really dive in deep. So we are now on step three, and that is about making a long-term plan. So what's important is we can see this goal, this dream life in the distance. And what's really, really important here is rather than just dreaming and hoping for it, we need to make a plan. We need to kind of sit down and work out where the big milestones, the big chunks of things that need to be achieved between now and then to get where you want to go. Now, you can chunk this up into lots of different ways. Personally, I like to get a whole flurry of post-it notes, write them all down, put them in a big mind map, create a bit of a, a, you know, a numbering system of what needs to happen when. And I want you to do is I want you to do some work around what this dream life looks like. What are the main big steps? Maybe it's getting a new job, moving house, maybe it's paying off debt. Maybe it's retraining somehow. Maybe it's having some coaching, whatever that looks like for you. Really write down all those big nuggets and put them out into a plan. So you can see the long-term plan, but before you get overwhelmed, we're gonna move on to our final tip. And that is about what you can do now towards these long-term plans. So we know how we want life to look and feel. We know where we want the priorities to be. And now we've created that kind of big goals, like how this is gonna happen. But before we get overwhelmed, and I really don't want you to get overwhelmed, I want you to really intentionally think okay so how where are my quick wins now what can i do now to make this easier better more balanced now because what we want to do is quick wins we want to feel great about the choices we're making we want to feel energized and hopeful and when we do that then we are inspired to keep going we're inspired to keep moving forward even in the times when life feels a bit overwhelming and it feels like some of the things that we're doing maybe aren't working or we've been derailed or there's been a setback. So what we need to do is we need to create that bigger picture, but also create those smaller nuggets, those quick, easy wins. And that could be having a conversation with someone to say that you no longer want to volunteer on a committee or um, you know, you can't be part of the brownie lift sharing, whatever it looks like for you. Allow yourself to make some difficult decisions, but not letting anyone down, because ultimately this is about creating a life that you love. Now, I'd love to know in the comments how you got on with this. This is a real whistle stop tour in terms of how you create life balance and some of the ways that we utilize in coaching that's going to help you go from where you are now to where you need to be. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to help you dip your toe in the water. I wanted to help you feel the feel goods of deciding where you want your life to be. So pop in the comments below where you are starting, what feels most out of alignment for you and what you're going to do to change that. Now, if you have loved this video, don't forget to like and subscribe because I love hanging out with you. I love us having a cup of tea and uncovering and unpacking some of the things that are perhaps out of alignment for you at this moment and how I can help you. Have a gorgeous day.